Here with Coach Pickett and Lady Demons pick up uh, two uh, good wins today uh, over UIW on Doubleheader Friday. Uh, Coach, thoughts on the on the day as a whole before we get into specifics of the no hitter and the, and the uh, and the second game win as well. Well, you know, we we struggled a little bit offense, but I, I thought it was, you know, in that first game, um, and uh, we just stuck hung in there with it and uh, was able to pull out two wins and. Uh, we was able to do a little bit more in the second game, put a couple of crooked numbers on the board. And, uh, you know, we, we made, I think, maybe two errors all day. Uh, one that hurt us, one that didn't. But uh, for the most part, we was able to make plays when we needed to make them. And uh, we got great pitching. So, um, you know, we was able to get these two wins, even though we, I don't, you know, we're still struggling a little bit. We're trying to find our way on the offensive side. But seeing some good things, seeing some positive things with some, from some different people in the lineup. And uh, hopefully, you know, that's going to start – you know, trending the, and, and everybody's going to get on board and, you know, we're going to get that confidence going all the way up and down the lineup. Obviously, Alexis's hit in that first game was uh, was the difference uh, on for both sides. And then uh, maybe a little bit about that, but, I mean, the story from that first game is, is Sage and what she did, the no-hitter and, and all that. Was, I mean, we needed it. I mean, there's two hits in the whole game. Uh, it's crazy. I don't know if I've ever been a part of a game quite like that. I, we've been a part of a lot of one nothing games, but uh, with you know just two hits in the entire game uh, with both from both teams, uh, it, it's crazy. And uh, Sage just kept you know kept grinding it out. And, uh, you know she was doing some really really good things, uh, mixing it up, and uh, was able to make plays behind her. I thought you know uh, Sage obviously was you know no hitter. What can you say about that? But. Uh, obviously, you know, Lex Senior stepping up, getting an RBI hit, and then Maggie made a lot of big time plays defensively uh, today that, that was really big for us and uh, we were able to play a clean game and, and not let them get no momentum going. And that second game uh, was the uh, second inning where we put up that you know those three runs and some some coaching moves by by yours your you not yours truly but you uh, to, to pinch hit Lexi pinch run a couple of players to to when those opportunities there to to put the people in the right spots and they came through. Yeah, um, there's been a couple games this year uh, I've kicked myself for not using her early. Uh, I, I I usually try to wait till. You know that fifth, sixth, seventh inning to, to use you know uh, hit her off the bench and, and wait for the right time. But uh, with the way we've been struggling hitting, uh, there's been a couple of games where I could have used her probably in the second, third inning, and, and some other games that and I didn't. And uh, I think it cost us. Uh, and I'm you know when we get an opportunity to score, we're going we're going to make do what we've got to do. And Lexi's been doing a great job in that role, coming off the bench and, and having some great quality at bats. And you know that that's that, that's a huge boost for us, and it just loosened everybody up, got the confidence going, brought the energy, switched the momentum to us, and uh, was able to you know get three runs. And I think in that inning, and um, you know it's just a it's, it's just a huge thing, and uh, I'm really proud of Lexi uh, and, and her settling in that role because it, it's a difference maker. Uh, having a hitter off the bench is confident and come in there and give you a quality at bat when you need it, and uh, you know really excited about what she's doing with that. Two wins, like I said, uh, wanting to finish things off tomorrow uh, with the sweep to put yourselves or put ourselves in the best opportunity that, that we can in going into that final week in Southeastern. Yeah, I mean, it just, you know, every game from here on out just gets bigger and bigger, I feel like, um, it, whether it's from conference standings to just get, gaining momentum going into that tournament. And obviously, once you get to the tournament, everything means so much. Um, you know, it's what you work for all year. But, uh, you know, I just want us to keep building. I, I'm, I'm a little, you know, I, I, today I was I was really happy with six, six through eight and, and, and Bailey at the top. Uh, did a really good job. But two through five, um, you know, I, I was a little disappointed then. Uh, Matt got us a big hit there, you know, in that last uh, game. But um, we can do better. Uh, we're, we're better right there uh, at the top half of that lineup. Uh, than what we showed today, and uh, we got to get those guys get, coming out here and, and producing like they can, and, uh, and I hope tomorrow we, they can come out here and bounce back and, and have a big day for us. All right, thanks so much, Coach.